Hey everyone, Rob here from getblock.io, putting together another video featuring our new UI dashboard. Been working on this for quite some time now, and we're really excited to show everyone what it's all about. As you can see here on the main page, it gives you a, just an overall snapshot of the mining pool and its current status. As you'll see, it will show you connected miners, how many miners are connected versus last week and the percent change, current block reward, current net difficulty, the current pool fee, the block height, the last block found, and the time that it was found, and the top miner on the mining pool. If you click on the stack card here, it will bring a slide over that will show you all the miners on the pool by ranking. You could scroll down and view our graph, which we've built to be responsive. As you select each section here, the graph will change and it will show you corresponding stats as well. We have sections for hash rate, effort, blocks, and price. For example, if you click on blocks, it will show you the amount of blocks found in the last 24 hours, the number of blocks found last week, number of blocks found in the last 30 days, total blocks found by the mining pool, and then the average time to find a block. And again, this is based on the last 100 blocks found. You could change the time interval day by month, and each section will have its own time interval that can be changed. If you are currently mining on the pool, you can go to the top and enter your address. As you hit enter, you'll see that both your settings and a personal stats button will pop up. Let's start with personal stats. As you click on that button, you'll see a few more stats cards here. First card will show your contribution to the pool. So these are stats that are related to your contribution or your uh, mining rigs, let's say, that are connected to the pool. So it will show your total contribution, how many workers you have online, your current ranking on the pool, the number of blocks you have mined since you've been on the pool, your current hash rate, share rate per, per second, and the amount of pending shares that you have. You can also click on this card and it will show you your workers, which will basically show you the mining rigs, what their hash rate is, the amount of shares per second, and how many shares that have been submitted. You can again sort this by time interval just to see the differences over time. The same applies for the payments card. So this card here will basically show you all the stats related to your payment. Payment in the last 24 hours compared to what you made yesterday, your weekly payments, monthly, and then all time on the pool. You can also click on this card and it will show you a detailed view of all the payments that you've received from the mining pool. Fully paginated so you can go back in time and see all your payments since you started mining on getblock.io. The other feature that is now available is your miner settings. As you click on the settings button here, it will take you to where you can change your minimum payout settings, as well as contribute to the hash rate for Harmony program. Let's navigate over to the sidebar and check out smart pools. So smart pools is basically the smart pool or the sub pool in theory that you will be mining on. As you can see here, it will show you the details of the sub pool that you are located in. In addition to the stats of the mining pool itself, you could click on the button here and it will show you the share data, which basically shows you your payouts per block. It will show you your share score, which is basically your score of the shares that have been contributed to the mining pool. You also see your minimum payout, the amount owed, the total paid from the last block, and then the amount added to your wallet during the last block cycle. And then if there were any potential tokens distributed, those would reflect here as well. And again, this is fully paginated, so you can go back and see all the blocks over time. Another way to view blocks would be to navigate to the blocks page. And this will show you every block that has been found on the mining pool. This page will be sorted by the block height. It will also show you the block reward, as well as the additional fees that the pool may have earned, the pool effort for that block that was found, the status of the block, whether it was confirmed or not in its percentage, the network difficulty, and then links where you can go and navigate to explore and see the actual details of the block.
Additional links can be found on our sidebar, such as a link to our main page, links to our social platforms, our GitHub, and we also have some great links related to Ergo itself. In the coming days, we'll be launching our new subpooling feature. The simplest way to explain this is that it is a pool within our pool. I will show you a few examples of how subpooling works. This is a preview of the new subpooling page. For the initial launch, we will be launching three or four new subpools. The first subpool will be a solo mining subpool. This will allow miners to solo mine on getblock.io, which has not been available to date. Another capability of subpooling would allow for dual assets to be distributed from the mining pool. For example, we have partnered with two teams within the community to launch subpools that will provide additional incentive to miners as they mine on getblock.io. The general concept would be that the, a miner would log into our UI, they would select the subpool of choice. Once they've identified which subpool they would like to join, they would click start mining, and it would follow a very similar setup as if the miner was setting their minimum payout. All they would need to do is select their IP address, choose the subpool they would like to mine to, and click Save. Following the initial launch of subpooling, we will also be providing what we call user-based subpools. This will give anyone the option to create their own subpool, distribute their own tokens, whether it be a native token or an NFT, and have the option of creating flexible payouts for their mining pool. Thank you for watching our video today. We're really excited to launch subpooling within the Ergo ecosystem. Stay tuned for future updates in the next few days.